Sure, it's quiet now, but come 3 o'clock, rain, snow, or shine, this parking lot's going to be full of people. If you know about it or if you ever visit Youngstown, you have to come here. And you have to, it, you have to wait. There's right. no, no favoritism. Today we go inside this Youngstown rite of passage and on the menu. A sizzling grill, clanging utensils, and a distinctive laugh. <laughs> His laugh is like infectious. These are some of the sounds you'll hear inside Youngstown's best kept secret, the Tokyo House. It's just that good. I come here every week. I usually get uh, teriyaki chicken. Shrimp and chicken. The quality is awesome. Double rice, double chicken. You can't beat it. It's the best like hibachi that you'll find ever in my opinion. But discovering the secret is only half the battle. I'm standing in line waiting to go to the Tokyo house. About an hour before it opens, cars begin arriving and the line starts forming. What are you doing here today? <laughs> waiting in the parking lot for Tokyo house to open. But you've never eaten here before? No, we attempted, but we were unsuccessful. If you don't stand in line and get here early, you won't have a seat. You have to be patient and you have to wait your turn. What happens if you don't get in line uh, bright and early? <laughs> you gotta wait hours then, literally wait hours. That's because the restaurant's only open from 4 to 7, Monday through Friday, and the staff is, shall we say, small. It's only literally uh, the owner and his wife that work here. They can only handle so many people. And it's worth it, but, you know, not too many people have, like, three to four hours of just standing around time. We just came, we walked in, um, the wife said, two hour wait, you might as well just leave. It, it, you're not going to get to eat today. <laughs> and yet you're back. Well, yeah, they said the food was good. Which is the main reason people are willing to wait so long to eat here. <laughs> the first eight people in line will be seated at the coveted first table by wife Hien Dao. Then out comes the second reason people keep coming back, husband and cook Can Dao. He's hilarious. Uh -huh. <laughs> Probably can't do stand-up if he wanted to. They asked me, do I have stock? I said, yeah, my wife has stock at Kimmel. <laughs> Ken doesn't do interviews, but he said we could record him cooking. He's pretty generous with his portions. The atmosphere of the place is very comfortable. I think it's a lot cheaper than a lot of the other like hibachi restaurants as well. The feeling is very family-esque, like you feel like you're sitting down at a family dinner and you're talking and chit-chatting and having a great time. He begins by cooking rice, then more rice, and then more rice. You're going to get a lot of food. And unless you have an enormous appetite, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time. Can spends the better part of an hour at table one, cooking, like rice. dispensing bits of wisdom, cannot be happy if you don't have no fun, right? And telling jokes that range from PG to NC-17. He just kind of talks to you and feeds you. And other than that, not a lot is known about the Tokyo House, even though it's been here nearly 30 years. It's like an urban legend. Honestly, just through word of mouth. If you do come here, make sure you bring cash because you don't take debit cards anymore. There's no set story. Right. It's kind of what everyone tells you, you know, and you, you hear similar things here and there. Like the reason half the sign is gone is that a car drove through the front of the building. A car did drive through there. That's why the sign's in half over there. The Tokyo House also closes every year for the summer, but no one really knows why. We try to come out here a couple of times yeah, before they go wherever they go. I have seen you for a while. Usually you hear every single week. Before we left, Ken gave us a handwritten note that he asked be included in our story. It reads, I'm very lucky that I have so many loyal customers. They're so good to me. I'm old now, so I hang on day by day. I'm sure I'll cry and miss them a lot someday and love them all. I'm just hoping he stays open for, that he never closes, but <laughs> we know there's always going to be that day when, you know, that, that he's going to be closing here. He just cares about everyone and that's, that's, a, that's a big thing for me. I'll see you. 